In this video, I'm going to explain how to estimate demo or demolition for a residential job. When you have to estimate demo, there's a couple different things you can do. The simplest thing you can do is, is simply to look at the blueprints and determine how many hours it would take to do the demo and then input those hours manually. Let me show you that now. First thing you want to do after you've determined how many hours it takes is come into Red Rhino in a section here and click the Add Labor button at the top right. I'm clicking the Add Labor button and it opens or populates items to the takeoff. Now as I said, the simplest way to do it is just to determine how many hours it takes. So what you do is type in the description here. I'm going to type in the words demo. Then I'm going to put in a quantity of two. Let's say I think it'll take two guys four hours to do demo. I'll put in a quantity of two and labor hours four for four hours. Okay. So again, in this in this explanation or description, um, I'm imagining that I'm I estimated a project for demo in residential. I think it'll take two guys four hours. So I I click again the la add labor button. Type in a description demo type in quantity two, four hours, and then click save. Of course, yours could be different depending on how many hours you think it would take. Now, if you have a lot more items to demo, there's a more complex way that you can do it. And let me explain. What you can do is just make a material list of the items that you have to demo and input that list. I'm going to make an entry here and show you what I mean. Now this is going to be a very simple explanation, but I think you'll understand my point. So let's say, for example, on a, in a residential project that I have to estimate to demo a, 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 a bathroom fan, okay? So what you do is you drill down in the product catalog or the assembly catalog. In this case, I'm going to go to assembly. So let me just do that. I'm going to click the drop down here. I'm going to select assemblies and I'm going to drill down into the residential assembly catalog. Okay. So in 100 um, is the residential assembly catalog. Now I said that I'm going to estimate demo of a bath fan. Okay. A bathroom fan. So here's the category right here. It says bath fan over here. I'm going to click on it and it'll display the different assemblies. They're in Red Rhino for bathroom fans. I simply scroll down here and looking for the right materials. I see the residential 15 amp residential exhaust fan. I'll put in a quantity of one. Okay, now I have to scroll back up and I'm going to click add to populate the assembly into the estimate. Now here's the trick to this. It's really simple. In, when you're doing demo, it doesn't include any materials. So what that means is the first thing you'll do is you'll come in here and you'll zero all the materials. So I'm clicking in each box here and I'm going to make it a zero. It's kind of annoying that my computer is pre-populating these. Um, I should shut that feature off, but I won't do it right now. Again, I'm going to click in each box, and I'm just going to zero the material cost, because when you're doing demo, you don't need materials, okay? It's just labor. Okay, so I'm going to go in here and zero each item there. Oops, okay, I typed in an O instead of a zero, so let me type in a zero. You have to have, by, by the way, that's, that's a good lesson. You have to have a zero value here, okay? If you just make this, if you just delete the numbers in here, it will not allow you to save it, okay? You have to at least have a zero value. Okay, so I input this assembly. It has some materials in there. I zero the materials. Now, here's the other thing I do. I go in and just make the labor one half of what it shows, okay? Sometimes I might just choose to zero the labor completely, but in this case, see how it has a half an hour? Hour, 0.5 hours for the bath fan, I'm going to change that to 0.25, which is half of 0.5, okay? Now, this one's just 0.04 hours. That's just a couple minutes. I'm going to zero that. This one is 4.4 hours per thousand. I'm going to change it just to two hours, okay? Well, let me see. I'm going to make it 2.5 two hours, okay? You get the idea. What I'm doing is I, z I input the materials that have to be demoed, I zero the material cost, and then I go cut the labor in half. I make the ha labor one half of what it showed before. Now this is just staple labor. I can leave that because it's not very much, or I could make it a zero, okay? And then I click save. 
Okay, so that's it in a nutshell. When you're estimating a job with a lot of demo, you might just go in, make a material list of the items you have to demo, input those items, change the unit price to zero, and, and just make the labor one half of what it shows. Let me just show another example. I'm going to use the example that I have to demo a two-gang switch, okay, a two-gang 15-amp switch. So on this screen here, you'll see I already drilled down into the switch assemblies. I just go down and find the assembly. Here we go. There's a residential two-gang 15-amp uh, switch. I'm going to put in a quantity of one. Say I have to demo one. I'm going to add it. And again, I just go through here and zero the materials. So I'll do that real quick. I'll zero each box for material. Okay, here you see that I zeroed all the materials. And then again, I just go in and make the labor one half, or, or you know, close counts on this, guys. You don't have to be exact. Again, the idea is the labor takes about half as much time to take things out as put them, install them. So just get it close in this, okay? This one is 0.1 hours. I might just make it point, or 0.18 hours right here. I'm just going to make it 0.1. The next line item here shows point, that's for the, the switch, actually switch installation, it's 0.14 hours. I could make that just 0 0.07. You get what I'm doing here? Now the switch plate, I might even just make that 0 hours, okay? I, I wouldn't try and split 0 0.07 hours, but I'm just going to make that 0. There you go. Now the next one shows 4.4 hours, and that's the Romex that's included in that assembly. So I'm assuming that I have to rip out the Romex feeding the switches too, so I'll just make that half. It's 2.23. Okay, I'm going to change it to 2.23. And the rest I'm just going to change to zero. Okay, so there it is complete. Okay, so you get the idea. Now when you're all done, you just click Save and go on to the next item. So sometimes if you're, if you're rewiring a house or rewiring completely like a room addition, or if you have to remove an old service and input a new one, you would just go input all the materials for that service to, to estimate the demo. Again, zero the materials, make the labor one half of what it shows, and then go back and add the new service for the labor to install new. Hope that helps. Um, that's all for now on this. Take care.